Hey guys, Pastor Scott here. Uh, reading God's Word anywhere. You can read God's Word anywhere. Uh, today, I'm out in my backyard, um, soaking wet, um, being thankful that I can uh, work, that I've got the ability to work, the strength to work, the want to work. Um, you know, I find it strange that a lot of people think that work is a sin or work is results of sin. I guess maybe that's my better terminology. And uh, may I remind you that work is not uh, the, uh, the, the or Eve and Adam's mistake. Actually, uh, work is uh, something that God gave to Adam before, uh, before <clears throat> uh, sin ever entered into the garden. Because as soon as Adam was created, God gave him a purpose. Uh, and that was to go and to and to tend to the garden. And so today, uh, out here out back, we had a tree fall last night. And I thought, man, what better place than to remind us that we can read God's word anywhere. And today, uh, we're going to be in Psalm 25. Uh, and I, want, I don't know if you got through your reading today or not. But man, uh, if you've read your five Psalms today, uh, while um, I'm just going to tell you, uh, that God is good. Uh, um, I, I got excited, especially when I got to Psalm 145. So here we are, Psalm 25 today. I uh, hope y'all are having a great day. It's kind of overcast. Read God's word anywhere. I'm out here on a on a tree log. So here we go. Psalm 25, unto, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me my paths. Um, who, who, uh, lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. And on thee do I wait all the day. Wait all day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions according to thy mercy. Remember thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Love that, guys. Listen, I'll say it again. Good and upright. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, will he teach sinners in the way. Will, be, will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, listen to this one, you ready? For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Guys, listen, you ready? It's not that we sin or sin to that of God. It's something that is, that is greater than what you and I can ever imagine. He hates, he hates, that's a strong word. He hates sin. What man is he that feareth, listen to this verse 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Listen, you ready? The ones that fear the Lord will be the ones that are teachable and that the Lord can, can guide and the Lord can, can direct. His soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord for he shall pluck my feet out of thy net. Who am I looking to when I'm in trouble? When I'm having, my, man, those, those tough days, the good days, mine eyes are ever toward the Lord. Turn me unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Who's going to bring you out? It is God. Listen, believer in Jesus Christ, I, I, I as I preach yesterday, I know nowhere else to turn than that of God's word. Uh, I know where, nowhere else to turn when things are bad, when things are down, when things are tough. I know nowhere else to turn than that and lean on the strength of God and lean on his word, uh, the true word. Listen to what he says here. He says in verse 18, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive me all my sins. Consider mine enemies for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in thee. Guys, I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me for I wait on thee. 
I'm just waiting, guys. I'm just waiting on the Lord. Um, and there's just sometimes where this best thing for us to do is just to sit down and just wait. Wait on the Lord because my God, He is sufficient. My God is good. Listen to the last, last verse, Psalm 25, verse 22. Deem Israel, O God, out of all, I love the word there, all His troubles, all of His troubles. Guys, one day, and I am looking forward to that day, one day He will take us out of all of these troubles. Remember, guys, don't ever forget this. And we, we, we lose sight of, of, what, of what life here on earth is. We're behind enemy lines. Uh, we, we are fighting behind enemy lines. Um, the, the God of this world, according to 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, is little G-O-D. That'd be Satan. He's roaming, roaring like a roaring lion, man. But you ready? Hey, you put your armor on and you fight the battles. And there's just days you just wait upon the Lord. Guys, love y'all. Man, I hope y'all have had a great Memorial Day. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to all those that have died. Listen, you ready? That have died and paid the ultimate sacrifice so that I could sit on this log and read my, my Bible. So Saturday morning, I could go to church. I'm thankful for the freedoms that I have. And I'm thankful for the men and women that have died and able so that I may be able to do the things and have the freedoms.